I would say the DR650S joined the Suzuki Dual Sport lineup in 2015, replacing the DR650SA, but the truth is, the only real change was dropping the E from the name. It's still a DR650SA. The E stands for Electric Start. But honestly, that designation is meaningless anymore. It's like saying pneumatic tires are a mention-worthy feature. It's really only noteworthy nowadays if it doesn't have electric start. When I mentioned that I was looking at the DR650S, two comments that folks made over and over was it has a small fuel tank and the seat sucks. Ask anyone out there who has one of these and they'll tell you, so if you plan on some long distance adventure rides, this particular Suzuki may not quite fit the bill without a trip to the accessories catalog for the gel seat and a trip to the aftermarket for more fuel capacity. As far as I can see, the small fuel tank is the only thing really holding the DR650S back from calling it an entry-level adventure bike, that and Suzuki doesn't offer bags for it. For the price, if you have to throw on some accessories to make it your own, you are still getting an inexpensive ride. While you're perusing the aftermarket, consider a set of mirrors if you plan to do a lot of off-roading. The stock mirrors stand prominent and are great for the pavement, but probably won't last long off-road. They'll either get whacked the first time you drop it, or get swiped by brush along the trail.